In this segment, I'd like to talk about catastrophic claims under the Workers' Compensation Act here in Georgia. Now, according to OCGA Section 349-200.1G, a claim could be considered catastrophic if the injury involves one of the following. Amputation, severe paralysis, severe head injury, severe burns, blindness, or any other injury of a nature and severity that prevents an injured worker from being able to perform his or her prior work and any work that's available in substantial numbers within the national economy for which the employee is otherwise qualified. I, I know a lot of legal mumbo jumbo, but what happens if your injury falls in one of the first five categories? Then the catastrophic designation is automatic and the injured worker is eligible to receive lifetime medical treatment as well as lifetime wage benefits. But most of the litigation as to whether or not a claim is catastrophic under the Workers' Comp Act centers on the category any other injury. So let's talk about the any other injury category in more detail. Who has a burden of proving their case is catastrophic? Well, it's the injured worker. The employee and his attorney will often have to provide very extensive medical narratives and opinions as well as testimony from a vocational expert as to the employability of the injured worker in the national economy. Now the insurance company is not going to just accept this expert's opinion they will try and counter the medical evidence with reports from their doctors and their vocational expert. Here's something else we consider. An award for Social Security disability benefits can also play a very important role in determining whether or not your case is catastrophic. This Social Security decision or award that either grants or denies disability benefits can and shall be admissible in evidence and the board is directed to consider this in evidence and in, in their evaluation. The workers' compensation judge will consider the award, especially if the disability for which you're given the award under Social Security is the same kind of disabling injuries that you received in your workers' compensation injury. However, this Social Security decision is only to be treated as additional evidence for the judge. And the same thing would be true if the judge did not find the injuries disabling under Social Security. All right. What kind of medical evidence will the workers' compensation judge want to review to decide if an injured worker's claim is catastrophic? Well, we, in representing our clients, we want to get clear medical evidence from your treating physicians about your work restrictions. What are you physically capable of doing? What are your limitations? Will you be on medication that could limit your ability to perform certain jobs? What kind of education or training do you possess? and will you be able to use this training with your physical restrictions? We may also have a vocational expert review your work restrictions, evaluate your, your education and past work history, your age, and then they will provide an opinion as to whether or not there is work available to you within the national economy, not just Georgia's economy. Well, why do employers and insurance companies want to fight the catastrophic designation? Real simple, money. If your claim is considered catastrophic, the insurance company will have to provide lifetime medical treatment as well as lifetime wage benefits. Bottom line, I do not recommend you try to handle your workers' compensation claim on your own and try to get catastrophic designation. Don't try to take on the insurance company and their lawyers by yourself. Look, you only have one shot, one chance to get all the cash and benefits to which you are entitled. You have absolutely nothing to lose by calling us. But think of all you can lose if you don't.